Hi, this is Justin Michelson with Native Foods Nursery. We're here at the nursery today to let you know about how to pot up a plant that you buy from us. So some customers, they're not ready to put the plant in the ground for whatever reason. It's too cold outside or some other customers just want to grow a plant on their porch. Maybe they're in an apartment or um, that's just what they prefer for the season. So we want to show customers a little bit about the proper way to pot up your plant. So this is a thimbleberry from our nursery in a five inch eco pot. It's a cow manure based pot that you can plant in its entirety and we encourage customers to do so to reduce root disturbance and also provide some fertilizer for the plant. So after you unwrap your plant, it'll look something like this. You'll choose a bigger pot. This is a two gallon plastic pot, a good size for one eventually mature thimbleberry. For some of our larger trees and shrubs, you want to pick a bigger pot, three, four, five gallons, sometimes even 10, depending if you want to grow that tree uh, for the long term in a pot or not. But for a thimbleberry, a two gallon pot will do. And I think the thing that most customers don't realize is that plants in pots, they just don't breathe or drain as well. Uh, as we know, uh, plant roots like us, we need uh, moisture and we need air. And so in the earth, that happens naturally. There's air and water that's moving uh, through the soil ecosystem. In a pot with plastic sides, especially, we just don't have a lot of that. So that means that the soil that we put into the pot or the potting mixture uh, has to be coarse. So for us, we use about 80% aged bark Douglas fir bark around here, 10% compost, and 10% pumice, which is a stone that adds a lot of drainage over the long term. So that's a suggested mix that, that you can also follow. Just want to make sure you have uh, a lot of large sized materials so that the drainage uh, can continue to happen throughout uh, all seasons of the year. So I'll show you the soil. So you can get, you can see it behind me, of course. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a close up here. Just seeing uh, the small and large pieces of bark and rock in there. Um, that's important for the health of your plant in a pot over the long term. So I've filled this pot about two thirds up with soil, which is just about right for me to set this pot into it. Again, I'm gonna plant the whole pot. As you can see, the top of the pot, of the cow pot, the eco pot, is at the same height as the top of the plastic pot. I'm gonna set it in there. I'm gonna take my extra potting soil and just fill around it until all the sides are filled in. I'm gonna be compressing the soil as I go. Perhaps sending your plant some, some kind wishes as you, as you settle it in, tuck it in. And so after compressing, you want the level of soil to be just below the top lip of your, uh, your new pot so that the water that you put in can settle and be held by that top lip before it sinks down. So besides watering, we're pretty much done. You just water your plant at this point and place it in the right conditions. Again, making sure that in the right amount of sun, right amount of moisture. From here, you can also fertilize. So. Some of us will put bipotting soils with fertilizer in them. Um, others, at least over time, will need to add to that. Ours has compost in it to start, so that helps. But still, especially in the spring, you need to purchase an organic fertilizer, sprinkle it on top, and water it in. Probably the easiest thing to do. You can also add compost or compost teas over the course of the plant's life make sure that the root zone is rich with microflora and bacteria. 
So that's about all for potting your plant up. Uh, we'll have this video on our website and on social media. Please check us out at nativefoodsnursery.com to see more about our plants and our mission and how you can get involved. Have a wonderful day.